Hello everyone, we're heading into the Heinous Headhunters Hard Challenge using as close to a budget team as possible to get all missions, which are no items, five turns total, and party of four or less. So this is the team. First up is Rivera. Gear-wise, 100% draw attacks and 100% evasion. So we split it up, we're using a lot of the older draw attacks and evasion stuff, and again, no Neovision based gear for them. So 100% evasion, and draw attacks is coming 50 from the charm, 20 gift, 20 jacket, and 20 from danger. Everything else is just evade there. Next up, we have Avalanche, Biggs, and Wedge. So they proc magic cover at the start of the fight, which is going to help out. Uh, Ravenheart is dual cast. They have Diablos for imperil, which is important. Uh, Nick's dagger is fire element weapon. We got them dual wielding with the Yeti combat style, so their auto attack hits twice. Made sure everybody on the team was paralyzed immune. And for them, they have a lot of uh, resist, mainly lightning resist there. And we're going to use Starlight Elena. Now, mine is EX3. We're not treating her like EX3. She has one of her swords, which is a regular trust. Everything else is pretty much five star base gear or easy trial stuff. We do have the intrinsic on her, which is important. And we're using one of the free cards. So we have 300 beasts, 300 human for her. And just using the base, ignoring her shift and everything. And then we're using Kaito as well. So Starlight Elena is quite old. Everybody should have at least one copy of her by now. And Kaito was just in the 60th anniversary choice shop. We've gotten two tickets already. There's another one coming up uh, probably in a couple of weeks. So everybody should have gotten at least one of him if they didn't already. I'm treating mine essentially like EX0. We're not using a shift at all. I'm not using his super, just his trust. And we got him built for limit damage in the base. Also not using his card. 300 beast, 200 human, 300 limit damage for him. And we're using the hat for his paralyzed immunity. Alright, let's jump in and see if this works out. Alright, Biggs and Wedge go first. We're going to dual cast and double cast in peril and in peril both of them. Rivera can go next. So we're going to Reverberation. And then Rhapsody of the Wild on Elena and Kaito. So that gives us 125 killers to both for them. Now Kaito. We're going to use his Magnus. We're going to Swelling Current for water boost to Elena. A better one than herself does. And we're going to Infusion to really boost up Kaito himself. So Starlight, we're going to ignore her EX3 thing. So we're not using the Sword Resist or her good boost, which is why we had Kaito do the other one. So we can Stella. We can Aqua Overflow and then just Gemini and target the bottom one. Alright, so our second turn here. Biggs and Wedge are going to auto attack. Rivera is going to Anthem. That's going to chain with Kaito. And then Starlight is going to toss in Triple Gemini. So we're going to start on the bottom one. We'll hit the tag chainer first, then Rivera and Kaito, and then Elena. And then after we hit Elena, we can swap to the top one just to make sure that they both die. So two turns for the first wave. That means we have three turns for the second wave. And for the most part, we're going to do the same thing. So Biggs and Wedge go first with Imperil. So we need to Imperil because Rivera's move is late locked. And they have over 100% late resist. So we need to be able to do some damage so that Kaido actually chains. 
and Rivera. So Reverberation upgrades her moves and 280 attack and magic buff for everybody. And then do the killers, which because Reverberation is first, they got upgraded to the 125 killers. And then Kaito again, boost his own limit and view water. It also makes us absorb water. Infusion for his 50% water boost and current for 45% to Elena. And then for Elena, we can overflow just because we only get the two turns out of Kaido's Magnus imbue with the water. And we can probably, yeah, we'll upgrade 20% more attack and magic and then a Gemini will target the bottom. All right, thanks to Kaido, we absorb water. And again, Biggs and Wedge are gonna auto attack. Rivera does Anthem, Kaito does a Limit Burst, and Elena, triple Gemini Blade, and we're gonna stay targeted on the bottom the whole time this time. So start the chain with the taggers, and then everybody else goes. I was hoping the top one would die, but we do have this turn to finish off. So Elena, Triple Gemini, Kaito, we're just gonna Cascading, Rivera, we're gonna do another Anthem, and Biggs, and we're gonna swap between the targets. So we started on the bottom one and swapped to the top one in the middle of the, uh, casting so that gets us all missions because that is turn five right there take a look and yeah starlight did a bulk of the damage But that is all missions with pretty budgeted type team. I mean, going for overkill is definitely easy. Going for less than that is not going to be all that easy. Five turns instead of six means it's hard to use super limit burst units because you can only get one super in there between the two. So this is what we ended up with. Pretty much as close to budget as I could think about. So we're going to end this video here. Hope everybody enjoyed.